Hi everybody. Now, last year I created a video which documented me replacing the socket for our antenna. We were suffering some water ingress around the antenna and I thought it was typically the socket which was mounted on the roof and it looked like there was some sealant missing. If you want to have a look at that video, click up here, go and have a look at it. When I started pulling everything apart, it actually transpired that there was nothing wrong with the fitting whatsoever. Uh, and actually turned out to be a problem with the antenna. Let me show you the antenna in greater detail. Let me show you what I thought the problem was, uh, because it may be that's what you are suffering from. Ours is a little bit more significant than that, and I'll come back to that in a moment. So let me break the antenna down, and I'll show you where I thought the problem actually was. In this tube here, um, there are three O-rings which are mounted up here, and I thought the problem was uh, water was getting in past those O-rings and dribbling down this tube here. Our problem started last year back in October. Have a look at this uh, shot here and you can see that our caravan has the antenna mounted vertically which would allow water to get into the tube. So I thought with the antenna being mounted vertically water was ingressing here and just dribbling down and there was quite a lot of water in the end. Let me take this apart and I'll show you what I mean. Now this comes off with two bolts. They're Allen key heads so uh, you do need an Allen key to take these off. Now it will be stiff, but it will come undone. So there we go, all slides undone like so. So with the tube removed, you can see that there are three O-rings and I thought it was these O-rings that would failed, allowing water to pass down over the uh, O-rings themselves into the tube and down into the caravan. You can purchase these O-rings, these are available. You can purchase them for just a couple of pounds and you can replace them. To be honest with you, these are rubbish anyway. They have um, deteriorated. I mean, there's very little resistance there between them. And it feels like somebody's tried to solve this before by adding some grease around them as well. So it feels like this might've been a problem beforehand. This isn't the problem, however. The water is not ingressing here. The water is actually coming from here, which means it's inside the antenna. The water is actually coming down the coax, which basically means that there's a leak in the actual antenna itself. So that means then we either break the antenna down, uh, find out where the leak is and replace it, repair it, fix it, etc. I've read online lots of people who have done exactly that. They're able to break the seal on this antenna down this line here and they're able to pull it apart and fix it. I, however, am gonna go a slightly different route. I'm going to replace the antenna and replace the amplifier in the back of the caravan. And there are a couple of reasons why I'm going to be doing that. Let me go through those points with you right now. Right, bit of a juggling act here, so bear with me. This is the new Status 570. This is the new antenna, and this is the old 530. Now, I don't suppose you can see from that angle, let me stand back here. Can you see the size difference already? Yeah, it's quite a noticeable size difference, isn't there? There's also quite a noticeable weight difference as well. Um, the new 570, let's put that down. The new 570 is a lot flatter. There's less of a profile. Also doesn't seem to suffer the same issues that this one has, where there's a little bit of a gap in the top, which would allow for water to ingress. There's also no pull-out antennas on the side here. It's all very much self-contained. On the shaft here, there's a little green indicator now, which tells you whether it is horizontal or vertical, which is really very handy to, to know. There's also the, turning it around, there's also the indicator to show you which way is pointing forward. Um, obviously when we're in transit, it doesn't face forward, it faces backwards, and that aligns up beautifully with this green indicator here as well. So I can know which way the antenna is actually facing. So the antenna also comes with a brand new amplifier and this is the new amplifier. This one has an additional TV output, that's useless for us, but it also has a dedicated FM and a DAB output as well. That's the real reason I'm making this change. We're going to be upgrading our radio in the caravan in the next couple of weeks and the new radio will have DAB on it and the DAB antenna which comes with the radio they're typically pretty poor. So I want a really good antenna to get a very good radio signal. On top of that, this amplifier also has a couple of other design improvements as well. It has a signal finder. This will change color depending on where the signal is. And you've also got a variable uh, gain as well on here. Our current amplifier has literally got a high or low gain. It's uh, an attenuator in the circuit. So with that said, let me show you how I pulled this antenna out earlier on today. 
and then we'll get on and we'll fit the new one in. Okay, so the, what I've done here is I've literally undone the cable. As per last time, there was a couple of P clips around here. Just going to loosen the nut up at the top here. It doesn't need to come all the way off, just as long as the antenna is free and easy. And then I'm just going to put the coax here, so when I pull the antenna through, the coax will come through nice and easy. So that's what we need to do in here. Let's go outside and start pulling the antenna out. So making sure you're nice and secure on the ladder. It's just a case now of pulling the antenna all the way out and relieving the coax, which may get caught. But just be nice and gentle. And as you can see there, we're out in one go. Right, whilst we are here, let me just show you. This is the old antenna amplifier here as well. And I thought I will replace this whilst the antenna is missing. So as you can see, what we've got to do is unplug a few bits and bobs and it's very straightforward. We're going to start off by unplugging the power adapter, which is clipped in here. And then we simply undo the antenna connections, which as you can see, are just simple pull out coax connections. So there's nothing special about these. And I'm going to come back to these in a minute. Now this amplifier is held on with two screws and it's simply pull up and disconnect. And that's it, that's disconnected. One of the big things you'll notice on here is that it's just standard TV coax connections. And our new plug here has got what's known as F-type connections. So we need to make sure that our new antenna fits in here. Well, it does because our antenna has got an F plug, um, but we need to make sure that our connections to our existing uh, coax outlets are also F-type. Thankfully, our F-type plugs literally plug into some adapters. So what I'm going to do is unscrew them. And as you can see here, if we unscrew the adapters, it's a normal coax plug to an F-type socket. At this point, I really struggled to fit the amplifier to the caravan. I reused one of the mounting holes from the old amplifier and had to make a new hole. But once fitted, I realized that the F-type plugs just couldn't quite get enough reach to screw into the amplifier. So I needed to remove another P-clip, remove the amplifier, plug the plugs back on and refit the whole unit back onto the side of the caravan. Right, there we go. Now, without much swearing, you didn't catch it on film, but what I had to do is I had to remove this P-clip from over here to get those two F-type connections on there and there. Now, between those two, they're a bit of a sod to get on, to be honest with you. So um, what I ended up doing is taking the amplifier off, screwing them on, and then putting it back up, simply because of the location of where it is. But I am glad I did it without the antenna in situ. Right, so that's everything fitted in here now. Um, I'm gonna tidy up these cables uh, later on, I think. Um, I'm going to put something over them, I think, just to make them a bit tidier. So right now, all we need to do is go and fit the antenna. So let's go outside and start plugging it in. So the first thing we need to do is dangle the coax down the hole. Just going to put my glasses back on for this because it's so bright out here today. That goes down the hole, like so. And there we go. I'm going to face it straight backwards. I know that it's at an angle here, but I'm going to face it backwards just to make sure that the green indicator lines up. Right, let's go back inside. So with the green indicator facing forward, the antenna is in its transit position. So the antenna is facing straight back, as you can see here. All that's needed now is to fit the antenna onto the amplifier, switch it on and give it a test. And now at the top of the antenna amplifier up here, we've got a light on. Now that says green already. And the uh, signal is right down to its minimum. So does that tell me then that we've got a good TV signal? I don't know. Let's turn it around. So that's red, orange, red, orange, orange, green, green, green there. 
So that's pretty good, isn't it? That's telling me that um, that's green right there. That's pretty good, actually. Right, let's lock that off. So that new amplifier is going to be an absolute godsend for helping to find uh, the best signal. Uh, up until now, I've been using this. It's a signal finder and I plug it into the TV point down here and I rotate the antenna until I get some LEDs that light up on here. And that's been really useful and it has worked really, really well up until now. We're probably going to still keep this because I don't know how well that uh, direction finder, or that signal finder I should say, is going to work. But what if you haven't got one of these, you're in a completely barren location, you have no idea what uh, signals are around and what the best orientation uh, the polarity of the antenna. Well, I've been using an app called Antenna Align. Um, it's available on Android and it's available on Apple. And basically, as you can see here, it's got a compass. Let me get the camera to focus. And as you can see here, it's got a compass and it's telling you which way the antenna needs to point. You can use either GPS or you can use a postcode. So if you've got no signal, um, it will still work, which is pretty good. It gives you a list of all the antennas in your local vicinity and how good the signal is. Now, as you can see here, nothing here is lit up as green, um, which means that we're in a fairly poor TV reception area. But that amplifier seems to think that it's got a good signal. So, you know, we'll see how that works. Um, you basically pick which one you want and it tells you the orientation of each uh, antenna. Let's click on focus again. You click on the on orientation, it shows you which way it should be going and also gives you very handily the channels as well of where you should be tuning your TV. So there we go, that's how uh, I've been using it so far. It's been very useful that in fact, uh, because even after fiddling with this thing, fiddling with the antenna uh, when we're away, I can't think where we were, I just still wasn't quite getting good enough TV signal. It was a bit blocky and it used to break up. Uh, so I used that, found out that I needed to turn the polarity of the antenna through 90 degrees bang off we were all going no problems at all the only downside to that was without water in so anyway there we go um so i hope that's been useful for you i hope you've seen that the uh, upgrade is a very straightforward thing to do in truth including filming it's taken me no more than 45 minutes to do all of this including the filming and all the mistakes which you'll never see uh, i'll put a link to the product down below if you want to go and buy one yourself um, i bought this quite some time ago and off the top of my head i can't remember how much i paid for it but I'll put it in here down below anyway. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, of course, I didn't bring a TV with me, did I? But we're going away next week, so I'll report back and let you know if it's any good. So that's it for me today, guys. Any questions or any comments, feel free to put them down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye now.